We are at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum where the Arizona Regional First Robotics Championship is being held. And uh, you have about 30, 40 teams here from uh, surrounding states, including New Mexico, that are competing for a chance to go on to the national competition. You focus on the robot, but it's not just about the robot. You do so much more. So basically, you go out and reach out to, you, to your community. Um, you want to spread the message of FIRST, which is to spread science and technology to encourage students to go into these fields. Uh, what happens on the field is there's a beginning period of on, uh, autonomous period where the team programs a code into the robot where it goes out and does things on its own. And then after that's over, the team takes control and you have to try to place these ringers onto a spider, which is basically just a rack for you're going to put it on. I guess the only other object of the game is try to get robots elevated off the ground by either having them drive up a ramp or any, how, any way that you're going to do it. Strategy for winning the game, we want to be defensive. We should be able to be able to push any robot around, take control of any one robot, perhaps two. Uh, like a big linebacker, we should be able to control most of the field to prevent the other team from scoring much. There will be a day when you look back on this tape and you're going to go, I remember when there weren't these kind of teams at every high school. There was a time when it was rare. There was a time when there was more kids hurting themselves in football than there were robot teams. Soon, that will change. Four seconds left. They're out there now. Score! That's the first key. <laughs>